In this video, we're going to look at applications of the quadratic function. So, the problem says Beth has 3,000 feet of fencing to enclose a rectangular field. So, this field might look like this. She's got 3,000 feet to go around the field, and then she wants to find the maximum area that she can enclose, and then she also wants to find the dimensions x and y of the field. So if we think about the perimeter first, the perimeter is going to be 2x plus 2y, and that's going to be equal to the 3,000 feet of fence that she has. And again, inside the rectangle, we're going to try to maximize that area x times y. Now the first thing you might notice is that the function we're trying to maximize has two variables. So we're going to need to use that perimeter function to solve for one of the variables so that we can have an area that's in terms of only x or y. So we know that a equals x times y has to be maximized. And we know that the perimeter is equal to 2x plus 2y, which is equal to 3,000. Or if we divide everything by 2, we get that the perimeter is equal to x plus y is equal to 1,500. Same thing. So we can solve for y. And if we do that, we get that y is equal to 1,500 minus x. So we're going to now substitute in that y for um, 1,500 minus x in for y. So we see that now the area is equal to x times 1,500 minus x. Multiplying through, we get the area is equal to 1,500x minus x squared. And we recognize this as some parabola that opens down, which is good because we know we're looking for a maximum. And this parabola is going to have a vertex, which is hk. And I kind of understand that that vertex has got to be in the first quadrant because h is going to represent the x, which was a dimension of her fence, so that's going to definitely be positive. And k is going to represent the area that she encloses, and so that too is going to be positive. So that means that that vertex is going to have to be in the first quadrant. But we'll see. That'll all come out in the mathematics. So now we're going to have to actually find the x, so we're going to have to do some completing of the square so we can find the vertex. So we know that the area is equal to 1,500 minus x squared. We're going to just rearrange that so our x squared term is first. That's minus x squared plus 1,500x. Now, one thing that I like to do before I start completing the square is I like to make sure that coefficient on the square term, x squared in this case, is 1. So to do that, I'm going to put everything in parentheses and carefully factor out a minus 1. So you see that I get minus 1 times the quantity of x squared minus 1500x. And that became a minus 1500x again because I factored out the x squared. Now what's good about that is now that coefficient of the x squared you can see is just 1. So it's going to make my completing square formula very straightforward. So to complete the square, I know that I'm going to have to add something in that red box on the inside. And then notice that whatever I add in that red box on the inside there, and I'm looking at this box right here, well, it's going to get multiplied by this minus sign out in front. And so that's why to balance it, I'm going to have to actually add that amount here because I multiply by minus sign. So I'm actually subtracting the amount that goes inside of the parentheses. So I have to add that same amount on the outside so that I stay balanced. So I'm going to look for my B and that's 1500. Um, and then, and actually that's minus 1,500. And then I'm going to divide that by 2, minus sign there. And then I'm going to get minus 750. When I square minus 750, I'm going to get 562,500. So that's what I added on the inside. Multiplied it by a minus sign, so I have to add a 500. 562,500 on the outside. So now I've completed that square. The stuff in the parentheses should now be a perfect square. Now we remember that once we create a completed square, then what factors in those parentheses is always going to be x. It's going to be either plus or minus b over 2 all quantities squared. In this particular case, it's minus because if you look up where I've circled that purple minus sign above in my area formula, that one's a minus, so they match. So I now know that the area is going to be x minus 750 squared plus 5, 
So I should be able to read my vertex from here if you remember the um, formula for a parabola. And so now I'm just writing it again so we can see it clearly. And the vertex is 750 comma 562,500. And if we draw that parabola, it's exactly as I thought. That vertex is in the first quadrant because both X and Y are positive, so that fits exactly what we would have expected. And so now we see that X is 750 feet, Y is 1,500 minus X, so Y is also 750 feet, and our maximum area is going to be the 562,000 500 and that's going to be feet squared. All right, notice that there's one thing special about this rectangle, and it's not actually a rectangle, but since both x and y are exactly the same, it turns out that it's a special rectangle which is a square.